Hey there, this is Michelle Pesco Salido, and today I want to talk to you about why you would want to create a dark post. And the dark post can be found and created within the Power Editor. And the way that you can access that is, is if you're over here in your Ad Manager, and let me just choose my account right here, and you can access the Power Editor right here. Now, most of the ads that I create will be done within the ad manager, but as of right now, you don't have the capability of doing what's called a dark post. So what is a dark post? All a dark post simply is, is it's a status update that you're going to create that is not going to show up on your business fan page. Now you might be saying, well, why wouldn't I want that to show up on my fan page? Well, there's a couple of reasons. So some of the reasons that I run into is if I'm out there promoting, let's just say this um, free webinar that I'm giving away on you know six silly simple steps to take on Twitter for 15 plus leads a day. Now say I want to promote this link. Sure, I could create a status update on my fan page, provide that link, upload a really nice image, then come into my ad manager and actually do a page post engagement ad. Well, what if I also want to promote another program here? Here's my top tier business. Well, if I'm back there right now creating a bunch of ads and I wanted to do a page post engagement ad to where that ad shows up in the newsfeed of a mobile device, the newsfeed of a desktop computer, on the right hand side of Facebook, I would have to come in if I'm using the ad manager, create another status update to where I'm talking about this particular program. Now, let's just say I went out there and I wanted to promote MITS my internet traffic system. So some of you out there might be affiliate marketers and you have several programs out there that you want to promote or just maybe you have several different things you want to promote and you know that in order to be successful on Facebook it's all about engagement, about creating a lot of value and not pitching your products or opportunity throughout your entire fan page in one day. So if I wanted to go in there and today was the day I was creating a bunch of ads, I would have to create status updates and it would look like that all I was doing was confusing people with different programs that I'm promoting out there and it would just probably not get me a lot of results. So that's where the power editor comes in to where you can come in here and create what's called a dark post. So now these status updates that you're about to create using the power editor will not show up on your fan page. And also what's cool is, is this, let's just say I wanted to promote this particular link in a status update and create an ad with the power editor and I wanted to run it in the news feed of a mobile device. I wanted to run the ad in the desktop of a mo um, and the desktop news feed in the right hand side of Facebook. But this time I wanted to split test. Maybe I wanted to split test different images to see what converts better. Or maybe I wanted to change up the headline or the description. Well again, you can't do that and create different ads in the ad manager unless you were to come in here and create five different status updates with five different images. So that's just gonna look really bad all on your fan page. So hopefully that makes sense. So that's why you can use the power editor and come in here. You need to come up here to the top and choose manage pages and click on create a post. And then right down here, you're gonna see this post will only be used as an ad or this post will be published on the page, okay? So you, what you want to do is actually do this one right here, click this radio dial button because we want this post to only be used as an ad. We don't want this to show up on our fan page, but we want this to show up as an ad in the places that we specify. So I could come in here and I could copy this URL here and I could paste it right there. So that's what I'm promoting. And now I can create different dark posts here and I could create different texts. So maybe in this one, I'm gonna say this, but then maybe I'm gonna create another dark post and say something a little different and test the different texts or descriptions against each other to see what works better. So it really is a great strategy to use. So I'm gonna keep walking through this, but it's a great strategy to use because you can just really mix up your status updates for these type of page post engagements ads without them showing up on your fan page. So I might say six silly simple steps to take Twitter, to take on Twitter for 15 leads per day. And then I could come in here and say get access by entering get access now by entering in your best email address 
All right, so I'm talking about what they're what I'm going to give away. Then I can say something takes only 20 minutes per day. These strategies only take 20 minutes a day. Anyone can do this. Anyone can do this. Yes, even you. All right, so that's there. I'm going to take away all these capitalization. I don't want to appear that I'm yelling at people. And you can even add a call to action button. You know, learn more now, shop now. So I'm going to put the learn more now, and that little button's going to show up in the status update. This link headline, you don't need to worry about it. The display link, the description, that's going to pull off of the page, but you can certainly add stuff here if for some reason you don't like how this turns out. So I'm going to show you what by me not filling this out what that's going to look like. Now I'm actually going to upload an image myself here instead of importing it from the website. So I'm going to go in here. Here's a great image. And then I'm going to create that post. And there you have just created your very first dark post. So we can take a look at it, see what it's going to look like. This is how it's going to look. It looks good to me. And notice I didn't have end up filling out this part here. I left it blank because it pulled it from the website. Here's that call to action button. Really, really powerful. And we can see how it looks on the right-hand column. Looks great. And then in the mobile news feed, how does it look? Looks great. So you've got to be sure that if you create these dark posts that you upload the changes right here. There's a big green button. You're going to have to push that before you get out or it will not actually go out and publish. So make sure that you do that. But you also want to take the next step after creating that dark post and create an ad based around that post right there. So again, let's just say now I wanted to create another post with that same URL. But now, you know, I want to come in here and put a different text to see what works better or maybe a different call to action button. This is the reason why you would want to do this. And then you could come in here and click on create an ad and choose your account. And I have lots of trainings out there available to show you how to do all this. But you would just come in here and you can create your own new campaign and then do all the great targeting and everything that Facebook allows you to do to start targeting a specific audience based around all your dark posts. So I wanted to do this little tutorial for you on dark posts because I want to make sure that you are utilizing this. This is a great way for some of you advanced marketers to really take your Facebook advertising efforts to the next level. You can create all different kinds of dark posts based around exactly what I just showed you how to do on this particular um, status update. And so for me, what I would probably do next is I would end up testing different images against each other. So I would probably create three or four more dark posts around the exact same thing I said, but maybe test different images that'll show up in the news feed or in the mobile news feed or on the right hand side, depending on what type of ad I create and the type of audience that I've targeted. So if you're not sure how to create ads after this, we'll definitely put a link below this video so you can get access to some of my other trainings that go into more depth on how to create ads uh, based around dark posts or anything that you're doing on Facebook in the ad manager too. So again, hope you got a lot of value. I look forward to talking to you soon in the next training video. Bye-bye.